This is another easy recipe using leftover chicken. I'm Tess, and tonight I'm making easy and delicious chicken nachos. Stay tuned! These chicken nachos are so easy, and you can have them ready in less than 30 minutes. In my skillet on medium heat, I'm adding in about a tablespoon of oil and a half a cup each of finely diced onions and bell peppers. Adding a little salt and black pepper, cooking and stirring for three to four minutes or until the veggies soften. Now I'm adding in two cloves of minced garlic, cooking and stirring for another minute. This is one cup of salsa and two tablespoons of taco seasoning and you can use your favorite brands. Cooking and stirring until incorporated and then I'm adding in my chicken. I have about two cups of roughly shredded leftover rotisserie chicken. Giving that a good toss and adding in more salsa until the chicken is coated. Letting that simmer for about a minute or two or until the chicken is heated through and then turning off my heat. Now I'm ready to assemble my chicken nachos. You can use any tortilla chips. Tonight I'm using Sam's Red Quinoa Chia Chips. No endorsement here, just a product that I tried and like. The chips are a nice size, sturdy, not salty, hold up in the baking and have a good crunch. They also taste good. Placing a generous layer of my nacho chicken mixture over the top. A nice thick layer of grated cheese and I'm using cheddar cheese. A sprinkle of onions, tomatoes, and some jalapenos for a little heat. Of course, you can add what you like. This is going into a preheated 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted and bubbly. And here are my chicken nachos. I'm serving with some slices of lime and a couple dollops of sour cream and a sprinkle more of jalapenos. And that's dinner. Believe me, they didn't last very long. I hope you give these chicken nachos a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!